Jamie Rubin, welcome with us, former Assistant Secretary of State during the Clinton administration and one of the heroes of Kosovo. Can we say that? I, I feel like we were able to do something in Kosovo. We really made a difference there. Why were we not able to do anything in Syria? Well, I think Syria, unfortunately, uh, has been seen in a context in the West where the opposition is regarded as weak and divided. Uh, the Russians and the Chinese have made a very, very large stand there, uh, saying that what happened in Libya, where the West intervened, uh, was too much for the Russians and the Chinese. And so they have uh, blocked the inter international community from acting. But I also think there are other factors. Libya was a pretty unique case. You had the Arab League uh, forcefully uh, involved, asking the West, uh, practically inviting uh, the United States and Western countries to use military force in an Arab country. It's uh, never happened before. You had a UN resolution authorizing force. And then there were some specific dynamics. So can we convince the, the, the Russians and the Chinese a plan, I mean, can they accept the Kofi Annan plan, for example? It doesn't ask or pretend any regime change in this case. Yes, I, I don't think the Russians and the Chinese, let's stick with the Russians for the moment, have a, have a problem with the idea of the Kofi Annan plan. That is a political uh, process after the fighting has been stopped. Um, I think their problem is what to do if the Kofi Annan plan doesn't work, if Syria, again, defies the uh, United Nations the way it defied the Arab League, if these initial indications that uh, some forces may be being withdrawn from the cities doesn't pan out and the fighting continues. Remember what we're talking about here is a year-long battle uh, by individual citizens, opposition figures starting out peacefully, trying to protest the way they did in the rest of the Arab world, but being brutally shot and killed by the army in the other places, the successful uh, Arab Spring countries, Egypt, uh, Yemen, sorry, Egypt and, uh, and Tunisia, the, the army wouldn't use force. But in Syria, the army has used force and has killed uh, somewhere on the order of nine or 10,000 people, most of them civilians, killing their own people. This is something unusual. What do you think the Obama administration is doing and what they should do? Well, I think the Obama administration uh, has been leading the international effort to try to isolate Syria through essentially sanctions, uh, putting uh, restrictions on the elites of Syria, banking restrictions, travel visa uh, restrictions, whatever they can do to isolate the Syrians, and trying, uh, Mrs. Clinton certainly has tried to convince the foreign minister of Russia to join with the rest of the world in this isolation. Russia has an arms relationship with Syria. They are continuing to ship arms to Syria. Uh, the Chinese uh, generally are in the arms, small arms business. So what the administration hasn't been able to do is unite the world around this full isolation. But more importantly, unlike in the case of Libya, uh, the West has shown no appetite for using uh, air power or, or military force or even yet arming the, uh, the opposition that is fighting for their lives. John McCain, Senator John McCain came out publicly saying America should intervene even with a, without the international community backing. Do you think this is a good idea? Well, it's always uh, uh, tricky in a political year to assess the motivations of individuals, uh, prominent former Republican candidate for president. But let me uh, assume the best and say that John McCain was uh, arguing that Syria is of strategic significance. One of the great ironies here is that Libya, although it had a human and a moral purpose to prevent the slaughter of innocents in Benghazi, the, the overthrow of Gaddafi had almost no strategic significance to American interests, to the, to the region. Syria, by contrast, the overthrow of Bashar Assad would be a blow, a major blow to the Iranian government. It's there. Syria is Iran's major uh, access to Israel, to Lebanon, to Hezbollah. Uh, and without Syria's alliance with Iran, Iran would be in a far weaker position. So the reasons to intervene, the reasons to help overthrow uh, Assad and by helping the people of Syria overthrow him are far, far greater than they were in Libya. But unfortunately, the motivation 
and the willingness to take risk and to risk American pilots or Western or NATO forces has not been, been there. Thank you.